Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 81 of Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. But before starting this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me, and join me in this great adventure. Okay, in the previous episode, we saw that Laharuto is back. And now he wants to confront the Hyunkeru baby. Hmm, let's see what's going to happen today. Are you ready to join me with these? Check it out. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah, because... So he was not together with the Hyunkaru all the time. Oh! No! For where? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. They were three. I was thinking of something totally different, guys, to be honest. Oh, but look at him. So no. What? Die. No, what are you doing? No! No, Himo will never let him do that. No! What? No, what the? Ah, okay. Okay. He didn't do that. Hyunkeru, don't stop fighting. No! Okay. So he's going to inherit back uh, the armor and use it. Uh... What? The? He will follow him. Thank you, Laharuto. That's crazy, I mean... It's time to rest. Mm. Let's rest. Emo. <laughs> He's not listening to you. Die. 
Oh yes, well that's great! Oh finally! I was waiting for them actually! <laughs> Yeah, crocodile can not worry. No, it's not dead, yo. Oh, You're okay, Hunker, right? I mean... Now, oh my, my... I can't wait that Laharuto is showing up. <laughs> With the Leona. Let's... <laughs> oh! oh uh. Hey, yes! <laughs> Die, especially you! <laughs> Oh yeah, because he didn't know. Oh, that's great. But are we sure? Avan. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> Look at Leona. <laughs> I want to see Mr. Van's face in this moment. <laughs> Laugh now because later. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, he is. Whoa! Well, just a three months. Uh. <laughs> Come on, reveal your face, Mr. Van. So, yeah. No, okay, okay. But Mr. Van is different. Come on, stop talking. 
it's time to start. Um, okay. Uh, believe it. Uh, who's going to start now? Whoa. I am afraid of uh, Pop, sincerely. I mean... I should be... Uh, ah, okay. Oh! <laughs> I can't wait! But why does he want to... Mm. Yes, it's fine. There has to be a reason. Huh? What? 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 Huh? Why? Pretty sure Van. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Aban. Uh, no f way. No. No. No f way. No, it's too late. Um. He knows what he's doing because he let Leona. Yes. Okay, okay. I mean, he told Leona to do that thing with the feathers, so I think that it will be fine. And then Laharuto is coming to help them, so okay. It's fine. Don't be so sure, Mr. Van. Yes, actually, yes. What the F? Eh? It's different! No, 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 believe it. No, no. Absolutely, I can't imagine this. No. In the world of deaths. Oh, he changed the mask. Yes. What? What? So that's not the Kirvan. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! What's that? Avan, be careful. About two versus one, it's unfair, eh? as always. Eh? No, 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 no. No. But I still not believe that Avan knows what to do. Uh, 
He will not die. No, it will not happen. Oh my, next week it will be hard. time right no okay of course Avan will win now it seems that he is a failing but later you'll see I think that he's just testing him so you can understand uh, how it works uh, okay guys in this episode we saw that now it's time to split uh, on one side we have Avan versus Kiruvan and on the other side we have Mistovan against uh, Dai, Pop and Mamo let's say even Leona at this point but before going ahead with this discussion I wanted to talk about La Haruto a little bit because in this episode we understood that he was dead somehow but thanks to Baran's tears he could make it I mean he could survive and this was great because in the previous episode I was telling you that maybe in the comments there was another way in which La Haruto could survive uh, and uh, that reason was that maybe he was incorporated, uh, let's say, inside this armor that was given to Junkeru because uh, they made a sort of a pact, uh, let's say, I will help you and then maybe in the future uh, we can uh, repay the favor or in that case La Haruto wanted to defeat Junkeru later in the future but we understand that I was wrong so there was another reason and it was always a thanks to Baran so thank you Baran for helping us once again even if he's not there anymore but he's still inside Dai's heart so somehow Baran is still alive and yeah I was surprised about that but at the same time I'm so happy that La Haruto is trying to help Hyunkeru because now Hyunkeru can't fight anymore he's broken inside definitely in fact we saw in the previous episode that all his bones are broken so he definitely can't fight anymore and that's why I'm saying that La Haruto is playing a great role right now because he is replacing Hyunkeru and he is going to help Dai and all the others against the Mist of An so I can't wait for that moment since Sincerely. And at the same time, I, uh, I was so happy to see the evolution of Himu. We were already talking about this in the previous episode, but even uh, today we saw that Himu was uh, feeling uh, so bad for Hyunkeru that he was even crying. And you see this uh, humanity inside of a body that is uh, not human at all. And once again, we see how Himu resembles Hadora because uh, even Hadora was crying uh, at the end of his life. Uh, even uh, inside of uh, these enemies, uh, there is a sort of a heart, uh, and it depends on the people they are confronting. In this case, uh, Hyunkeru was essential because he helped Himu understanding that you 
still have time to change side and it's never too late so i really like that right now we are making another sort of a team we have uh, Junker, Himu and Laharuto <laughs> and it's so nice let's see what's going to happen and let's see how Laharuto is uh, jumping right into Mistovan and all the others bottle can't wait for them yeah talking about Havan even if uh, now it seems that Kirvan is going to defeat him, that he is super strong. We know the light motive of this story. At the beginning, the enemies are so sure to win and they seem unbeatable, but then something is going to change, something is going to happen. And I think that in the case of Avan, that's what's going to happen too, because I remember the moment in which he was trying to match his eyes with Leona's, and we know that in the previous episodes, uh, Avan was uh, telling Leona to do something because Leona felt as if she was not playing a great role in this. But I'm definitely sure that she's uh, here for a reason. As much as when uh, she was uh, having the necklace in order to join Avan and all the others, I think Leona is uh, playing a great role from now on. And if you remember, they were also talking about the feathers, uh, the different colors of the feathers and the meaning of them so I'm definitely sure that when Avana was matching his eyes with her it was a sign it was like uh, as if uh, he was uh, telling her you know what to do and I think that even Avana knows what to do so even if now it seems that he's losing I think he's just a testing uh, Kirvan and all his actions, his movements, so he knows uh, where to attack him specifically. That's what I believe. I don't think Avan is going to lose, and if he will, okay, it would be pretty sad, but I just want to be optimistic, and I really think that Avan can make that, especially because now we are reaching the end of the story, so I think Mr. Van and Kirovan are going to be defeated and then we will be able to reach Van Sama, the last bottle. And even in that case, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Okay guys, I think that for this episode that is it. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned because next Saturday I come back with episode 82 of a Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye guys, see you in the next video.